two people responsible here for drumming up the interest here in Baltimore. Dennison, how are you, sir? Very good. Good Thank to you. see you. Good to see you, Jason. Good morning, man. How are you? You're putting on a big show tomorrow. So oh, what man. Time? And this guy's been great. It's 7 a.m. It's all day. We want to invite her to South Korea's taking on uh, Greece <laughs> tomorrow. we got Argentina and Nigeria at 10, and then, of course, at 2.30, the it's U.S. It's all day reviewing. It's all day. We're starting at 7 in the morning with coffee. We've got donuts. We've got bagels. We've got food. We've got big uh, goals for kids to kick soccer balls. So Where's shopping for mom. Right in Patriot Plaza, right in the heart of Towson, right in the Towson Courthouse Square where the fountain is. We have a giant 9 by 16 foot high def television, $95,000 TV oh, that we're bringing right in for the pocket. day. That's nice. We're gonna, we've got beer for, for dad and uh, just bring a lawn chair. That's all we ask. Everybody bring, brings a chair to sit in. Come on out. We'll have uh, games for the kids. Great food. Great. It's going to be a festival. Dennis, are we getting it this time around? Are fans getting it this time around? Yes. So, you know, uh, soccer's becoming a, a really big sport in the, in the U.S. Uh, it's getting better all over, from the girls all the way to the boys. It's just tremendous. Look at this hat. Does this hat not say celebration? It's as, as much as I have to cheer for the team, you know, I, at national team Brazil, it's right in the blood. But I'm, I want the U.S. To, to have a good show because it will be good for the country. Let me ask you this. East Baltimore, Columbia. When we were growing up, those were the oh, hot bands. You know, Pete Karinji is yeah. coming out for our event tomorrow. I mean, all, all the Baltimore. The Blast, Crystal Palace, the United, the Bays, Baltimore Beltway Soccer League, Baltimore County Parks and Recreation. We couldn't have done this without Jim Smith, the county executive, who's been great. Nancy Hafford from uh, Towson Chamber of Commerce. Scott Westcote from ASG. We have so many people pitching in on this event. And it's, it's literally a once every four years that we could do this event. And I had dreamed of doing it at the harbor for a month long. But for one day tomorrow, everything's going to stop. We're all going to meet in Towson. It's a free festival. It's you know, completely growing free. up on baseball and football and basketball, the World Cup, you know, gee, you know, I, what am I missing? What, can you explain to the guys like me that, okay, it's coming, all right, what, why, are we, why are you so excited about this? Well, for, the, the best way to describe it is just to imagine a Super Bowl three times a week for a month. No kidding. You know, that's how it is in Brazil. That's how it is, and it's going to be. There's not a lot of work getting done the next (laughs) month. I mean, productivity, (laughs) you know, for the world is going down the next two weeks. I promise you. I mean, especially with the game times, because here the games are 7.30 a.m., 10 a.m., and 2.30. I'm headed over to Slauncha and Fells Point. Save me some beer down there, fellas, and uh, we're watching a little bit of the highlights here. But here's Landon Donovan. Uh, He is our star player. Do we have a chance for the USA? If he does that, yes. Now, England's coming in with two missing players, right? Rio Ferdinand and David Beckham are not a part of the British team. Obviously, Wayne Rooney's their biggest star. He's going to be the guy we need to watch out for tomorrow at 2.30. But come on out. Wear your red, white, and blue. Come on out to Towson and uh, support the World Cup. I mean, even Brazil and the United States standing together. You're friends. friends. Yeah, I know you are friends. Hey, let's put it up. There's uh, a lot of things that are going on here. I want to put a bunch of uh, parties that are going on. Of course, while the World Cup kicks off uh, in less than, what, 30 minutes? It's about 25 minutes away. Mexico's kicking off. Everybody down at Fells Point is going to be going crazy a little later on. All right, it's going to be the, fun. The U.S. will play England. You'll be able to see it right here tomorrow afternoon at 2.30 right here on ABC2. And then you can see the game. And that'll be tomorrow afternoon. And if you want to watch the game with a bunch of fans, here are the ideas. Of course, go and join with Nasty and also Denison up there in Towson, a free outdoor viewing party hosted by WNST Radio and Baltimore County Parks and Rec. You can watch all three games All day long with games and activities for your kids and families. And it's free. And it's free. On your screen is the number if you want more information on that. And if you are downtown, head over to Little Italy headquarters. You're about Amici's. Absolutely. I'll be there Monday. uh, Team Italy plays at 2.30 on Monday. We'll have your Italian huge Italy party. And even if you're from Paraguay, you're allowed to come. (laughs) Well, they're going to have a happy hour each day of the World Cup from 10 in the morning until 10 p.m. That's more. Denison, you you can do math on that one. That's a big happy hour. Productivity is down at WNST this week, too. But it's soccer, so it's okay. (laughs) And we we raised some money for the Lou Gehrig's disease. Raffle tickets will benefit ALS. And then we have a press box viewing party. And that will be tomorrow from 2.30 to 5. And that will be over there at High Tops. Go online to pressboxonline.com. Are you feeling it better this year than you did eight years? We were over at Hubcaps eight years ago. Eight years ago, we, we did well. And then four years ago, I went to Germany, and I was so excited. I went over for, for about three weeks and went to the first U.S. game. Ball went in the back of the net the first 30 seconds. Two minutes later, it was 2 nothing, and that was kind of the end of the U.S. run against the Czech Republic. So we hope it's going to go better tomorrow. Can we win tomorrow, really? Yeah, why not? It's a good chance. You know, if you look at the history and, uh, and all the experience in, uh, for the team from England, um, not a really good match against U.S., but you know what? 
World Cup, anything can happen, and I think the U.S. is going to, it can definitely surprise. What people in this country don't understand is if the United States were to beat England, I, I don't know how the people in, England might just fall right into the ocean tomorrow <laughs> night if that happens. We beat them again, They huh? take this seriously, you know. Dennis, but, uh, great to see you, my you, friend. Shane, good morning. Happy you. World Cup to you, everyone. All right, thank man. Join us. Linda, fun. let's go. She's there, 7 o'clock. Yeah, Go let's South get Korea. the party started. Sounds good.